Okay, nice clean shop. It's time to get building. Let's go. Okay, about a year or so ago, I built this one in order to start building my workbench. This is similar design to what April Wilkinson does um, for her workbench. I'll put a little link up there for you. Um, the only problem is, with the frame that I've built for my new table saw stand, I don't know if it will work. Okay, so as my fears have come true, you can see that this is now far too high for this, which isn't potentially going to be a problem because I don't think I've got any screws at the level that this is, so I could probably just cut it off. So I'm hoping that this cheetah plywood with the corner missing will be big enough to make another leg, which annoyingly I cut up in the last project to make the other bench, and I wish I had it, um, and the side strips in order to connect it all together. That's my plan anyway. I don't know how it's going to work out, but we'll see. Oh, I'll be so glad when this workbench is done. It's like I can stop faffing about with this and just chuck it on top of there. Especially with it being movable as well. I'll tell you what, it's a good job I'm strong. Oh, oh yeah, if you haven't got a set of super drawers, I highly advise it. Matt and Johnny, her brother's mate, go on about them all the time. So does April. They're just a really easy way of securing everything. I didn't actually buy this pair. Uh, my good friend Sean at Shown in the Shed bought the, uh, gave these to me because he bought them and uh, in the shop for ages. So he gave them to me. So I'm using Type Bond Original only because this is going to be an indoor bench. So at no point should it be getting wet or outside. So original, easiest one to use. Okay, so now that I've got everything glued up, the plan this morning is to get the other sheet of plywood out, laid down flat with that on top so I can try and work out where I want everything. We'll see how it goes. I know I've got a couple of legs down still, which I'll do soon, but I want to make sure that I've got the right size for what I need. So even with my careful measurements, I still managed to screw up and this is now lower than this if I put that on there. So I'm now going to have to use this bit, which is the outer cut from here, to put that on and it's still not the right level. Well that's annoying. Did you know I've wrong? So, I've got it upright, let's show you the other end. So that is where the table saw is going to go. I've still got a lot to do. Okay, so the plan here is to drop this corner a little bit. So I've taken the screws off from inside. I've got four screws holding it on here still. 
I've got the clamps clamping a little angle block that I actually cut off the top of one of these into place, which means when I undo those screws, this won't suddenly drop. I can then control the angle of drop um, just by loosening and tightening the clamps again, hopefully to drop this corner just down a little bit, which means I can level it and get the other op op opposite corner up a little bit. That's the plan. Whether it will work or not, we'll soon see. So you can see that it's not actually that bad. So there's a little bit of wiggle here which I need to sort out. And so there's quite a lot of drop between these ones, but that's because that isn't actually secure to the bottom either. So I think the next job is to try and shore this other corner up. You can see what I've got left to do now. I've still got to try and put a strut in here somewhere, and I could probably do with putting another leg in. But this is a really good starting point now of where I can actually start to build that frame up properly. No bolts. So these, I plan on using shims underneath there just to try and level it out. So what I've done, if you can see, is I've just made these little shims, as you saw, and I've just slid them underneath these front ones so I know that this front is roughly level. I don't mind it being a little bit higher because that means it will drop off when I do it, but that's fine. So all I've got to do now is go back and do the back bits, uh, which is easy enough because they're actually screw on um, on feet so which you can adjust so I'll go and do them and then hopefully this top bit will be nice and level. And there you go, finished bench all ready to use. Nice solid top, built in table saw and then eventually storage underneath. This is just like the first part of this video really, so uh, if you want to make a basic workbench like this, uh, obviously ignore the table saw, this is a fairly easy thing to follow along to. But if you want to have a bench with a built in table saw like I have, and additional storage and stuff underneath, then um, again you can follow on to this as well. Uh, it gives me a nice space here in order to support larger pieces of work, and a massive out outfit table as well. I am more than happy with how this turned out. Yes, I had to destroy the other one that I made, um, but that's just life in woodworking. Sometimes things don't always go to plan. I am loving this bench, it's nice, secure. So stay tuned for the next video, which will be adding some more creature comforts to this. I want to put a roll on this side, which is why I've given myself an overhang, um, so I can put some craft paper on top. Um, easy enough for glue ups, things like that. Uh, I want to put lots of storage underneath. I want to destroy some of my older shop projects in order to put the equipment underneath the workbench to give me more space. Obviously, I'm going to have to have a bit of a tidy up in here, try and figure out where the hell I'm going to put this because it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be, but I love it. It's brilliant. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch any more of my videos, there's a few links here for you. Hopefully you'll find one of them interesting. And if you haven't, there's a subscribe wall 
and a notification bell, hit them, and then any time I upload a video, you'll know about it. Oh, and also, don't forget, my new Instagram is down here as well, so click on those, follow me, get involved, love to chat to you. If not, I'll see you on the next video. Catch you later.